Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting viewing towards the final episode of season three of Rising of the Shield Hero. I don't know why the fuck I just hesitated with that. Um, it, it's a little weird slash, like, I don't know how to feel because I still expected more. I was like, oh my god, I think we need 12 more weeks of this, but it is what it is. I, I just hope this ending is good and it wraps everything up neatly but you know i don't know i, uh, I don't know <laughs> other than that let's go to get started in three two one go oh damn Poor baby. <laughs> the way she is just lying flat. <laughs> I just can't get over the fact that he's talking now, but okay. Okay, we all surprised him. <laughs> I mean, but yeah. <laughs> Are you really asking that? What? <laughs> It's never going to happen. Like, yes, we can have, like, this cute little ship and stuff, but it's never happening. We all know that. So, I mean... But see, yeah, that makes me want to ask, does he ever get it? I mean, it's not important, but in the at the same time it is. Does he ever get with anybody? Or is he just, you know, the lone wolf, badass-ish? Which, I have no problem with that. You do what you gotta do and such at the end of the day. But we know in another series, they're together. And they're starting the college arc of their series. And so we're all happy about that. But still, just secretly wish. But it's okay. It's all right. Mm -hmm. At least one... Of my favorite couples got engaged this week. That's a good thing. Because I almost, I really, I was so close to crying after watching that finale. And I was just like, oh my god, my heart. But I think if I had watched it on Tuesday after work, I would have been crying like a damn baby. <laughs>
No. Well, damn. <laughs> but it suits her, though. You would think almost really everybody would get new outfits, but that's okay. Better. We're still not going to see that. I mean, something tells me we're not going to see that. So, season four. Why? I mean, I don't know if Itsuki is going to be able to fight, but okay. Oh my god. <laughs> like, misunderstanding! You tell me that did nothing. Oh my god. Great.
Perfect. <laughs> Right as she comes back, though, man. Excuse me? So then what else can you do? Jesus. True, you're right about that.
Yeah, you're just, you're gonna go there, which we all know. Bad feeling about this, sir, but okay. You, you do what you gotta do. The hair is pretty. And see, we're probably, that's all we're getting. That's all we're getting. <laughs> a nice temple, slash, <laughs> nice palace, and a character with nice long hair. We're not even gonna see anything else. <laughs> Like, okay, Kissy, hold on. How many minutes we got left? We got six minutes left. <laughs> you can't do that in six minutes. Why is there always a fucking ferry? We gotta take a damn boat just to get there. Mm -hmm. Oh God. You might as well take them too. Well, damn! Okay. Teleport. Yeah, it's smart. Really how we're ending season three. Yeah, this is how we're ending season three. Oh my god. This fucking bitch. Of course, she's gonna be going there too as well, right?
Yeah, this is really how we end in season three. Okay. All right. This is what I'll say. This was an interesting series. Well, not series. Season. I will say, yes, it is better than season two. But it still leaves, like, a lot. A, like, up in the air. And, like, a potential. Like, okay. Do I think? Well, no, because see, it makes me wonder. Um, if today confirmed, like, okay, yeah, we're going to get, like, a season four or something, or they're going to wait a couple of months and stuff, or maybe a year after the show has, like, been over, I mean, like, oh, hey, yeah, here comes season four. Because now he's got to go against an entire freaking country for Aftalia. What in the Ruby slash Genshin is this because that's what it truly feels like it feels like it's something from those two shows because like see no ruby well no as far as i know because i saw watch ruby ages ago um i don't think ruby's done shit like this but who knows <laughs> That's the question I want to ask again. Like, who still watches Ruby after everything that that show has gone through? I, I well, I think I know one person who still does. That, see that that gives me nothing. You you take off three. You could have put a four right there, but you decided not to. That's bullshit. You don't do that. Like seriously. But that doesn't say like, oh hey, yeah, we're we're kind of possibly working on season four and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean with Genshin, you kind of see it with Inazuma in a nutshell. But that's the thing. And, and then it's like, okay, it is a little weird that Fetal is not going to be essentially in this next arc because it's always been our three our main three and then yeah everyone else who who is in this little family and stuff and it okay you know okay i got i got the best fucking way to compare this shit okay so you know how like years ago when you know arrow and flash were like airing non-stop or like when arrow was airing first then eventually flash flash came in and then all these other like dcu tv shows were coming out but really it was just those two that kind of paved the way how you can kind of use smallville as a way to, even though I have not finished Smallville yet, do not judge me. I, I remember because I'm on like, oh, God damn it, I don't even know what season I am on because it's been years and I would probably have to like watch it from the beginning again. Um, but I digress. So it always starts with like three people in a group. Um, for those three shows, like you had your initial three, or like with Flash, you had your initial four, kind of three. And then eventually the group gets bigger and bigger. And then sometimes when you want that, like a moment with the core three, you don't really get that anymore because insert A character is over here doing on what stuff, insert B character is over here. And then person B is doing whatever, but person A is still our main person, but you still want A, B, and C all to really, you know, collide and have moments together. And such. And so that's why I think there was a moment in time where I think we were on, what, season four? Three or four of Arrow. And, or five. I, I don't know. I dropped that show after, like, season four because I was like, this shit ain't making sense anymore. I was like, I'm done. I can't do this. It, it was really bad because you know how, like, when you watch a show and... You're, you you think you're watching it or you're trying to pay attention, but you're more on your phone. That tells you the show is not good anymore when you're really more on your phone and paying attention more to your phone than the actual television show. Don't do shit like that. Always make your shit entertaining. But still, I digress. At that time, they thought that shit was entertaining, but it clearly wasn't. It was stupid and boring as fuck. And I can still say that even till now. But it is a little weird on that because... It just is. I'm like, and I get it because Fido still has to train and such. But it's like, what I feel like is by the time she comes back, they're going to be done with this arc or they're going to be all the way over there and she can't get to them. Because, well, baby can fly, but still. Unless we do some magical BS where it's like, oh my God, we can make it. <laughs> 
recording, but who knows? I don't, I don't really know. But, I, I mean, if it does get a season four, that means we get to look more into Reptalia's past and stuff, because that's something that I've really wanted for, like, a hot minute. Because when you're looking at the one episode from season two that really focused a lot on her, it did feel like there was something else there for her, and I really wanted them to go more in depth, but because of the time, the time frame and what it is we weren't going to be able to see it and such. And so, yeah, I also love how this episode gives you a little bit of that, but it's like, oh, hey, we can't show you this because that's too much of a teaser. We can only show you a little bit and stuff. And then you have to kind of be pissed about that for the next couple of months. You have to be satisfied with that. And that's what this show is doing, um, which I I'm a little hesitant on that. I'm, I'm happy and sad at the same time because I still wish this was a 24-episode series. I think... Instead of doing it 12 by 12, we could have had a lot more-ish, um, maybe more time to develop a lot more things on this. Because, like I said, it's not, I don't think it's the worst season. We will always say season two is the worst season of this show. But season two, I mean, season three is better. But if I had to do it, like, rating it, it's season one will always be superior. That's regardless. Then you can put season three, and then you can put season two. Now... I'm going to say it like this. <laughs> um, I don't want this show to do what Jujutsu Kaisen and... No. Let me take that back. I don't want this show to do what Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, and now Chainsaw Man is currently doing. Where it's like, oh, hey, we have like two... What the fuck, Discord? Okay, whatever. Two or three seasons, and then we're gonna get a movie, and then we go on to, like, whatever. As much as I would like to see this get a movie, at the same time, I think it's still better to just do a 24-episode season. You can do it, but who, I digress, who really knows on what the hell they're going to be doing with this? I mean, this is also maybe a sign that I should probably go ahead and start reading the light novel. Sure, what the hell? We can put it on the list of raw server series that I gotta read. I'm still, I'm currently reading one, well, you ain't gonna, well, it, it is a series, but it's not a light novel series or anything. It's like, I blame TikTok for it and such. I'm currently reading that. I literally am trying to finish. I've been so freaking busy with everything else that I have not had time to fucking read. But, yeah, like, uh, I, I just, I wish, and, and I hope that we get a season four. That's all I really care about at the end of the day. But this season was good for what it was. It did explain some things that I was really interested in, even with, like, uh, you know what, I'll say this. Okay, remember the poster that came out for this? I think it was, like, um, no, no, well, not only the poster, but... The, that very first, no, was it the first one? The first trailer or the second trailer that came out talking about how they were going missing and, or like they left or some shit. I don't remember. I had to go back and look. Um, to me, that felt very misleading, but still at the same time, we got to see like, yeah, what our other three heroes were doing at the same time. So hopefully, yes, the rest of them, you know, all four of them get to come back together in season four. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big what if. That's all I have to say about this. But yeah, I mean, this was a really interesting season. Um, would I watch it again? Yeah, what the hell? Maybe if I wanted to just have, like, background noise or something and, and ish while I was doing something else. Yeah, I mean, but it was still an interesting re- Um, I'm about to say rewatch. <laughs> Wrong word. It, it was still an interesting watch. I just think the way it was done was eh, but still better than season two. Let's just say that. Um, But, I mean, yeah, it was still good at the end of the day. I just, I, I hope we get something soon because, yeah. I'm getting close to saying fuck it and I'm gonna read the damn series. So, you know, just go ahead and let me know. What book are we on? Just tell me what volume we're on so that whenever I do have free time, I can read it. Because something tells me we're not getting season four until a hot minute. Like, how long? We got, we got season two last year, right? Sorry. Bitch. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> when did season two of The Rising of the Shield Hero come out? Because I called her a bitch, she said I won't respond to that. When did season two of The Rising of the Shield Hero come out? The original release date was set for October 
So two years ago. I don't know. Okay. So last year. Okay. Well, I can see something coming out in 2024, but I feel like they're going to save it for 2025. Yeah. Because it does make me wonder if the company has like anything else. Regardless, and then the same thing with the cast. They probably have something else. Because, like, number one, duh, Bunny Girl Senpai. And then if the college arc is going to get animated, because I think they confirmed that. I don't know. Well, we'll see. <laughs> it's just a big old what it. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards the entirety of season three of The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all... Honestly, I really have nothing next Friday. Well, no, I'm lying. <laughs> um, You'll probably just see me next week for just Undead Unlock. Um... Uh, of course, I need to get out the winter anime watch list. I will probably have that out on either Sunday or Christmas. I'm not even sure yet. I mean, I kind of have my shows already, but I need to kind of really make sure. Like, I can tell you one that I am absolutely watching that's solo leveling. I I've been excited for that ever since. So that's like a number one for me. Um, and then something else. I just can't remember the name of it. <laughs> to save my life i have to go back and look at my phone and my phone's all the way on my bed and i'll feel like walking over there but until then i will see you guys all next time bye